Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly make an amortization schedule for a loan. That could be a loan um, for you know commercial reasons or it could be a mortgage. They, they work the same. So in this example, I'll use a commercial loan and let's say that you know, we need to borrow $5 million. We've got an annual interest rate of 8% and we've been told that the amortization term is 84 months, um, but the payment term is 60 months. So um, typically in a, in a commercial loan, you won't explicitly see anyone say that, you know, there's a balloon payment, but that's how they'll normally couch it um, when the amortization time frame exceeds the payment time frame. So basically this means that at the end of year five, um, we'll have 24 months worth of principal payments to come immediately due. And on $5 million at 8%, that's gonna be a, a pretty big number, but we'll, we'll make the amortization schedule to figure out exactly how big of a number that'll be. So the first thing we need to do is calculate what our monthly payment amount will be. And, Cell has, of course, a very easy formula for that. It is the payment or PMT function. And so it'll ask for a rate. Now we'll need to make it monthly rate. So we'll take the annual rate and divide by 12. It'll ask for the number of periods. Now in this case where we do have this balloon payment, my monthly payment will be based on the amortization months. So I'll go to the amortization months and the present value is amount that we're borrowing, the five million. This will tell me that my monthly payment on my five million dollar loan will be seventy-eight thousand dollars. So I've started to create a bit of an amortization table down here. My opening principal is just the loan amount. So five million dollars. My payment will stay consistent every month, at least until the end of year five. So I'll lock that in there. My interest payment, um, obviously that payment is comprised of both an interest piece and a principal piece. And over time, that interest piece is gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller, but we need to quantify that. So the way that we do that, again, Excel has a very nice formula. It is called the I payment, the I standing for for interest. So IPMT, open parentheses. The arguments will be very similar from the payment function. There's just one additional argument. So the rate, again, we'll take the annual rate divided by 12 to make it a monthly rate. Now it wants the period. So that's why I've created this table out here. So this is the first period. The number of periods, again, will be the amortization months, which is this 84. And the present value will always be the amount borrowed. And that'll give us what amount of that total payment is allocated to interest. Now I'll just copy that formula, paste it in here. All I have to do is change the I for interest to a P for principal. So now I have the P PMT for principal payment and everything stays the same. Press enter. It'll tell me 44,000 and some change goes to principal. Now to check that I didn't screw anything up, I should be able to say is my payment minus the sum of what's going to principal interest equal to zero and it is. So now I like to calculate my closing principle here, and that is my opening principle minus the portion of that payment that went to principal. And so we can see it went down a little bit. Now my opening principle in the second period is equal to my closing principle in the first period. My payment will always stay the same. So if I did this right, these formulas should all drag down. 
and it looks like I did not do this right because my principal went to zero and that went to 35 million so we'll take a look okay so I didn't lock in this eight percent here so I'll lock that in everything else looks to be in the right place so we can see the interest went down a little bit as expected and then again this just must uh, not be looking the right place there so we'll go ahead change that lock it in 44 so interest went down a little bit it means principal must have went up a little bit the check is still working great so to get this amortization table to look right we're gonna have to go out to all 84 months so i'll take this down till we get a four a few too many okay so now i'm going to take these formulas paste them in and that is good news i should see my principal at the end of the amortization term going to zero now, however we know that i actually have to make the balloon payment at year 60 so what i like to do is just come in and gray these out and this is the amount of the balloon payment at year five or it's the amount to refi if bank approves a refi so that is how you can calculate and understand better the terms of a loan proposal especially if there is a balloon 